we're talking about winter. Mm -hmm. yeah. Her jacket might be good for yeah. some of that, yeah, what you're talking little, about. It's on the warm side. You know, the winter outlook from NOAA came out today. And it's always interesting to look at because there are some nuances to these forecasts and none of them are exactly exactly right because there are always fluctuations in temperatures as we go through the winter months. But here's the general trend of what we can expect for the upcoming winter. Warmer than average temperatures across the deep south into the southeast and even up the east coast. We're close to being in that above average warmth for winter, but right now we're looking at an equal chance of a normal winter for us. Colder than average up across the northern plains back into the northern Rockies. Now, in terms of precipitation, there is a signal that here in our area and across much of the Great Lakes will have a wetter than average winter. Does that mean more snow? Well, not necessarily. It could be more rain than snow, or it could mean more snow. But the outlook for this winter does call for above average precipitation for our area. So a couple of important notes about this winter outlook and a little bit more of the nuances for the forecast. I will tell you, I think November and December will be mild with above average temperatures. But the one thing to watch for over the next couple of months is how any cold outbreaks we get in November and December could enhance lake effect snow because the Lake Michigan water temperatures are extremely warm. In fact, the warmest on record this late in the season. So that could foretell or foretell uh, a bigger lake effect snow event at times when we get colder air coming in in November and December, January and February. We're likely to see big swings in temperatures. We'll have some mild weather and then some colder weather with more Arctic outbreaks expected this year compared to last year. Last year we had about two weeks of winter in January. Remember those two weeks? It was really cold. I had a little bit of snow, about 16 inches of snow, and that was about it for the whole winter. This January and February we might have more Arctic outbreaks compared to what we had last year, which isn't saying very much because we had about one or two Arctic outbreaks last year. But the potential is there for likely snowier conditions the second half of winter compared to the first half of winter. So when you're looking at the scope of winter for us, the first half of the winter, probably mild, maybe not a lot of snow, but then January and February are looking a little bit colder with the potential for more snow than the first half of the winter. And you might be asking, so is this going to be worse than last winter? Well, looking at that outlook and everything I've looked at, I would say it is likely to be a little bit worse than last winter, but last winter was such a non winter. We had 22 inches of snow, which is far below the average of 38.4. In fact, when you look at the past five winters, our snow totals have been below average except one time the winter of 20 and 2021. So right now the forecast calls for a little bit more snow than last year and a little colder temperature pattern than what we saw last year.